Back in September of 2020, we interviewed a man known as the Coffin Confessor. People pay him thousands of dollars to reveal their secrets after they've died. Since appearing on our show, he's written a successful book. He's working on a movie deal, and he's even expanded his business. He is back with us this morning. Give us an update on how things are going. Bill, thanks for being hey, with Bill. us. Larry, Robin, how are you guys? Doing well. So for those who are not familiar, it, it sounds crazy. I Tell people how you got started and what people do pay you for exactly. Okay, basically it started as a, as a joke, to be honest. I, I told a uh, dying gentleman that I'd crash his funeral for him um, upon his request, and he was happy to go ahead with that. Uh, once he passed, I interrupted the eulogy and told his best mate to sit down, shut up, or bugger off. The man in the coffin's got a few things left unsaid. Wow. And I read aloud exactly what uh, the people want said at their funeral. It's their funeral. And so you are the messenger, but do you ever get blowback from these people? Has this erupted at all into, you know, something difficult? No, not really. I mean, you get the crowd on your side, you're pretty right, because it's the crowd that uh, want to know what their loved ones left unsaid, and, and they want to hear it. It's a message from them, and, uh, and you get the respect of the crowd. And once you get the crowd on your side, you're pretty right. What, how, do, are there people that don't believe you? I mean... You could just be a you know a crazy person standing up and pretending to say something. Yeah, that'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> but, uh, no, look, there's a contractual agreement. There's a um, a video between me and my client, and basically, um, there is always somebody in the family that knows I'm going to be there. They don't know what's going to happen, uh. but they know I'm going to be there. Ah, uh, and so can you give us a few quick examples of the messages that you've had to deliver? Oh, look, the, the messages can be anything from infidelity to, uh, to loving messages to, to a family that a uh, person just did not want to die. They didn't want to leave their family and they love them so much, but they've also left them a gift. And I disclose where that gift is left and they can find it and, uh, and it's a happy time for them. Um, wow. So it's not just, um, it, it's good, bad, funny and sad. So there's a variety. What is the most memorable reaction you've gotten to something? i got to say, it's got to be the non-reaction. I, I actually had to uh, pinprick a client uh, at a viewing and there was no reaction. He was petrified about being buried alive <gasps> and that stuck with me for forever now. So he wanted you to take a pin and just and, and stick it in to make sure he was dead? Yeah, absolutely. And, oh. and that's the kind of request you get. So I go to viewings now and I pinprick the body to make sure there's no reaction. I place items in the coffin like mobile phones or, huh. or a bottle of wine or whatever they want. And uh, what's, that, what's this service go for? Uh, again, it can go anywhere from two to $10,000. But as I say, they don't need the money where they're going and I never get a complaint. <laughs> wow. So... How, this is expanded now. You, it started as that as that one thing, and I, now I hear you go to like will readings as well. What happens in those? Yeah, so uh, it's a case where um, the you know the person that's dying, um, they're laying on their deathbed and they're listening to uh, I guess family members that are divvying up their assets before they're even gone. So they've decided to do a new will without anybody knowing. Oh. Um, obviously, they have somebody that comes to their bedside, a lawyer, and, and their sound of mind, and they create a whole new will, and I'll take that will, and I'll interrupt the will reading and present the new will. What? <laughs> I'm surprised no one has come after you. Yeah, not yet, maybe, but uh, who knows? I mean, look, it, it's one of those things that it's a service I didn't really realise that would take off, but it has. A lot of people uh, need the service, and I'm very happy to provide it, and I'm hoping, you know, I'll come over to the state soon and uh, yeah. provide the service there as well. Now, do you ha are you going to franchise or something? I mean, you're you're over in you know, Australia, I think, and so any anyone you trust to do it over here? Well, there's a lot of talk. Um, at the moment, I'm going through quite a lot of things at the, at the moment. I actually, um, I have an agent, actually, from your, your, your town, Chicago, Steve Mandel. Who oh, reached sure. out. Um, yeah. Yeah, so Steve's my agent, and he does a lot of work for me over there, and he's, he's teeing up a lot of things, and I'm going through a lot of, uh, a lot of business plans, uh, movie proposals, huh. uh, reality shows, so it's, it's quite great. Well, I, I hope he's taking the standard 25%. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do it for 18. 
Uh, it's a well, great Larry, story. I remember you saying you. I remember you saying, Larry, you wanted to jump on board, but see, you were yeah. just a yes. bit too late. So see, we I were we were one of the first. So don't forget, we're here for you. Yeah. If you, uh, come, you guys are terrific. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Well, if you come through Chicago, come on by the studio. We'd love to meet you. It's just so fascinating. You can find him on Facebook, The Coffin Confessor. He's got a book and possibly a movie coming yeah. up, a reality show. But man. All right. Thanks, that's Bill. That's something. Hey, Patrick. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. All right.